humanity, I love you with all my heart. I want you to know that. This video is about uh, infinite love. Again, what it means, what it represents for us as humans here on earth living this experience, this beautiful experience that is to be alive. It's a wonderful thing to be a human, to feel, to love one another, to love yourself and then reciprocate that love through society in the way you act, the way you behave. So, Essentially, I have been talking a lot about the source of love and where love comes from. It comes from within, from the inner self, from the true self. We call it self-love. It starts with us. We love ourselves. Then we can love the world. Then we can love others. But it starts with us. That's the starting point, us, the individual each of us, you, me, true self, starts with your identity, understanding who you are, loving yourself. It's all that, that's the key. The key is to know that, the key is to know that it starts with the individual, with, with a single human, with us, the person, you, me, it starts with me, it starts with you, self-love. That's just the way it is, you know, it's the way it is. It's a beautiful thing. It's just wonderful to know that we are capable of infinite love just by loving ourselves. So I have elaborated in previous videos about self-love and infinite love and the mathematics of infinite love and the 10x love cycle and what 10x love means and all these different things. So the way I do my videos is I have my book is a visual book. So essentially an image con contains the information. So it's easy for, for us to understand it visually. It's a simple way to communicate a message. And I just want to add meaning to the image with my words, doing a video of myself, sharing my thoughts, sharing my ideas, what I mean when I say these things, what I mean about my, my views of the world, of humanity, of us, the human race, a benevolent species, inhabitants of, inhabitants of Earth, our planet, the citizenry of the Republic, Earth Republic, here on Earth, that's who we are. We're an amazing race. We're an incredible species. We are sentient beings with the instinct to love, not only ourselves, but one another. It's who, who we are, is what we do. We love. We love. And through our love, we create. Because our love allows us to be alive, to exist, to live. It's our love that created us in the first place. Our parents, or in this case humans in general, say, may love with each other or one another. And then life was created as a result. And then through their actions, their deeds, they raised you, the love they have for you, for me, for everybody. And then we become adults and this is part of the story of who we are here on earth. So love is a fundamental thing because love is creation. And we are creators because we are infinite energy and infinite love. This is a recurring theme in my videos because it is the truth, subjective reality. If you understand what energy is and what biology is and who we are, then you understand that everything boils down to love and energy because it's just the fundamental element of creation here in this existence that we all call planet Earth. 
Having said that, I just want to explain what the cycle of infinite love is. When you give love, you get love. And this is a cycle that never ends. It's an infinite cycle. It goes forever. It's an eternal cycle. So the beauty of it is that we all have the instinct, the innate ability as part of our DNA makeup, our genetic code, our genome, to love because of our heartbeat, because of who we are. Because our heartbeat creates this electromagnetic field, this force field around us, which is energetic because we're energy. And it's the heartbeat that allows us to exist. We're living creatures because of our heartbeat and emotions and feelings are felt in the heart. Why? Because love is life. So we live and we feel that's the way it is. And it happens to be electrical energy. So it's all connected. And because we have this instinct, see, the human race is a benevolent race because if our innate instinct to survive is a heartbeat and a heartbeat is electrical and is the way we feel then that means that our nature is a heartful nature is a benevolent nature so if you understand this very basic principle of powerful because it, is, it defines who we are our nature our instincts as a human race our instincts are those of light infinite love, infinite energy, because that's who we are. Without a heartbeat, we wouldn't live. And without a heart, we wouldn't feel. So they all connected. We love through our hearts. So it's all one, one mechanism, a delivery system, and it's called love. So it's a beautiful idea. And because we're all human, we all have a heart, which means that we're all alive, which means that we all love which means that we're capable of loving not only ourselves, but others infinitely because of the nature of who we are, where we come from. Infinite energy going through us every day because we are part of infinity. It's just the way things are. It's just how it works. And having said that, then you start to realize that if we as individuals have the capacity to love not only ourselves but society at large, then love is a mechanism by which we create, which is true biologically and is also true in practice in day-to-day -day life through our actions, through our deeds. Because the best creations out there in society, the best human creations, the best things that humanity has to offer were all created by humans who were passionate and loved what they do or they love what they do. Painters, musicians, writers, poets, singers, artists in general, anyone in society that creates builders, doesn't really matter. Anyone, athletes, everyone who puts their heart behind their actions, puts their heart energy behind their actions, creates great things because of their passion and their love for what they do. And the implications of what love is, is powerful, infinite energy of creation. So because of the nature of it being infinite, then it comes to us instinctually as part of who we are is our nature to love one another and ourselves. So then it's important for us to remind ourselves, and this is why I'm doing these videos and I'm putting so much emphasis on love and what it means, is that love is what we do. Love is our actions. Love is our deeds. It's what we put out there in the world for society at large to see and the way we treat ourselves. If we love ourselves, if we have self-love 
for us as an individual, say a human loves himself or herself, then that person would look after herself or himself or themselves. Doesn't matter as long as they love themselves, then they would look after them because it's a natural instinct. I love myself, so I'm going to eat healthy food. I love myself, so I'm going to have a good life. I love myself, so I want to be better off tomorrow. And this is just a natural process. It's a logical thing that we do because it's our instinct to be better. It's beyond survival because survival is just existing. Living is what I'm talking about. Living purposefully. Loving one another, loving ourselves with our actions, with our deeds. So when you're passionate about what you do, this is why true self is so important. Then your purpose magnifies exponentially. It amplifies. It multiplies because it, there is love, the force of love behind it, this infinite energy, this infinite force behind your actions, what you do. So the impact is much greater because the quality is higher because you care about what you do, because you love what you do, you're passionate about it. There is this deep emotion, which is the emotion of creation, of life itself, behind your actions, behind each of your deeds behind each and single one of the daily actions that you take particularly when they're aligned with your purpose and your true self and your identity so when you do that work day to day day in day out daily action purposeful daily action and this is what you do and this is your reason to live your reason to exist this is your why to love what you do and do it every day then the results are incredible because the outcome is infinite there is no end to infinite quality when you have a quality outcome that outcome is shared across society forever a good song is not gonna be stopped being played it will be played as long as there are humans willing to listen to that song why because it's beautiful because there's passion there is heart behind it, there is love behind its creation and we all resonate with that energy we all listen to love and we know we, we feel it we can feel it when something has been done with love with the labor of love we all see it we all resonate with it because it's a universal language that we all understand because we all loving creatures it's in our instincts it's in our dna is who we are, it's part of our genetic makeup, our genome, is who we are, it's our makeup as a species, as a race, as a sentient being, we are benevolent, we love, it's our nature, the heartbeat, is who we are, our reason to exist is because of this, the heartbeat, so because we have a heartbeat, we can love, and because we can love, we can live, and because we can live, we can create and because we can create we are eternal we are forever because your song will be there forever as long as there are humans if it's a good song people want to listen to it will be there forever same to anything that we do that is meaningful and powerful and loving so that's my message to you humanity whatever you do do it with your love do it with your heart Put your heart energy behind anything that you do your purpose your actions must be loving actions put your heart behind your actions do the right thing by loving what you do and life would create the conditions for you to be reciprocated as this natural mechanism this feedback that love is reciprocated because people notice it because they can feel it, they can resonate with it because we all energy. What you put out there will resonate with people if it's well done, if there is quality behind your work, if there is passion. And all of us have an innate ability to have a purpose, to have a talent, to have something to do, our gift to society, our purpose to exist. So find your purpose, love yourselves, 
and put the information out there through your actions. The set data sets must be actionable through tangible results that people can see, not only yourself, but society. So we all can benefit from the love that you're putting out there. Because once you start to get the feedback from society and they start to say, hey, I actually love what you do. I, I actually resonate with your music. I actually think your book is amazing. Your, your, uh, your painting helped me go through things. It opened up things in my life and I really love it. And this is why I want to buy it. Or this is why I want to help you. Or this is why I want to listen to your music. Or this is why I actually became a writer in the first place because of the way you write. So all these things connect. And when you hear people giving you the feedback or you feel it, you, it's something that grows inside of you. And what's that? It's love. It's that love that you're getting back, that energy. Because people resonate with your creation in the first place. And this is what this is all about. It's about creating. It's about life because we're infinite. We came here to earth to do that, to find ourselves through love so we can create and leave a legacy behind us, a legacy of love, a legacy of goodness, a legacy of benevolence, so humanity can be better off once we leave this realm. Whenever that is, that's our purpose, to create love, to do beautiful things day to day. And that's just the way it is, and it would always be like that. That's why we have history, and that's why we have all these things that we have learned from. That's why society is so advanced today, because of all the love that other people put into their work when they were here our ancestors, our pre predecessors. So we are who we are today, this collective knowledge, this collective wisdom that all came as a result of love in the first place. So that's just how it is and that's how it would always be. So because of the infinite nature of it, I want you to think about the impact that your actions have, that your deeds have, that your work have, that your love have in the world, not only in your life, but the world. So understand that you're a very powerful being, that humanity is very powerful, and we are incredible. We are a great race. We are an incredible, highly intelligent, highly sophisticated species whose nature is good and loving. That's who we are, and it would always be like that, and it will never change because it's our instinct. And we will be here forever because this is our planet, and we always will find a way this is why we found the Republic, you see, because the Republic is forever, it's eternal, because humanity loves and love is forever, Thus, that makes us eternal. I love you everybody, and I wanna say that to you, my love for you is infinite, it's forever, it's eternal. I love you, I love you all.